What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. I got a video for you guys. It's gonna be the only one I make today because I got a real busy day um, ahead of me. So, anyway, I'm gonna talk about this Ricky Hatton um, cocaine situation. Um, it's um, pretty much out there. It's been out there for the last few days. Um, Ricky had snoring cocaine on video, and you know, it's to me, it's it's sad to see um, a boxer with such a fan base, and such and such a beloved figure in in um, the UK, um, fall fall like that. It really is. It's very sad to see something like that. You know, because he has a lot of fans that adore him. He has a lot of fans that. You know, they just look up to him, and um, you know because every time he went out to fight, you know he he came to fight despite you know the fact that, in my opinion, I think he does have three losses. But you know, um, despite the fact of you know being beaten by two of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, um, legitimately. You know, knocked out by both of them. He had, he's had the privilege to fight two of the best um, pound for pound of this era, um, and perhaps be um, one of the only fighters to do so. Now, um, his last fight, you know, he it ended early, and pretty much it signified what probably was the end of his career. I think it was. Me personally, I think it was the end. I don't think Haddon's ever gonna fight again. But Haddon has such a fan base and such a following, all eyes are gonna be on him. And I think that due to the fact that he is a public figure um, out in the UK, um, I just think that he's gonna be under close observation for for a little while. I don't know how big the news is in the UK. It's not. I haven't seen anything on it here. I just seen things on the web. Um, never seen ESPN or any sports channel report it. So it's. To, so I'm guessing it's really nothing out here. But this is like the second UK um, fighter who has um, used cocaine or admitted or basically. Um, because Joe Calzaghe, he admitted to it, and now Ricky Hagen gets caught using it, and um, caught using it, you know, on camera. But we know um, how Ricky Hatton is, you know, we know he likes, you know, we all know the lifestyle that he lives, where he likes to, you know, he likes to drink Guinness, you know, eat, balloon up in between fights, but who knows how long the cocaine thing was for him you know um, I don't none of us really know um, I doubt that he was using as a fire I think it was something he picked up when he quit fighting um, more than likely and you know in me I'm not gonna be the anti-drug advocate or preach about preach against drugs um you know I, I'm not gonna lie I had my drug phase years ago um, and you know me, I never. I'm not gonna lie, I did cocaine. I never got addicted to it. Um, and this was like years ago. But if it wasn't so fucking expensive, I probably would have. But you know, I never got. I never really got addicted to any drug. I never. You know, the thing for me was, and a lot of people know this was alcohol. That was really. That's really something that that did it for me it was alcohol, but you know drugs. Like I said, I'm not going to be the anti-drug advocate because you know we all make mistakes in life. We all. I think there's that that period where you kind of experiment with things. Um, I don't know if anybody else has went through that, but I went. That's a period I went through. Um, just the time that I went through, I I experimented with things, and but I was but I was much younger when I did and it was a curiosity I guess it was a curiosity with it with um marijuana and cocaine and alcohol I never did done anything else but you know it's it's just you know, me I could sit here and I could admit hey I made that mistake but I never but me I was never caught 
doing this stuff, you know, by, you know, family or, I just did that stuff around friends and stuff, recreation, kind of a recreational type thing just around friends. But when you, when everything comes to fruition and everything is like right in front of you, like, like with Ricky Hatton being the public figure that he is, and finding out that hey they saw saw my saw, got my video sniffing on cocaine, it's it's one of those things where it's like oh shit, you know now peop now I'm disappointed in myself because you know because of what I what I did, and it's not I'm disappointed in myself because I'm using drugs is I'm disappointed because I got caught using it. Because basically, I I got set up. I think that's that explains the disappointment in um Ricky Haddon because now you know now that he was filmed and caught, you know he let a lot of fans down. And sad um sad to say, but you know he he does have a son too that probably seen that could have seen the video. His son could have seen the video. Who knows? But. You know, I think I just hope that Ricky hadn't um if he has a problem, I hope he gets the help that he needs. Um that's just the best way to say, summon it all up. I just hope he gets the help that he needs and hopefully he doesn't lose his promote promoter's license or um whatever he needs to promote fights. Um I just hope that you know really I just hope that the man regains his reputation if he if he lost in the UK I really hope so but anyway guys that's just my opinion on it um but thanks for watching and have a good one peace